In this lesson, we're going to talk about three main secondary lymphoid organs. We'll talk about lymph nodes. We'll talk about Peyer's patches, using them as an example of mucosa-associated lymphoid tissue. And we'll talk about a very special secondary lymphoid organ, the spleen. We'll also talk about the lymphoid follicle, which is kind of where all the action happens in each of those secondary lymphoid organs, but we'll come back to that in a little bit. To illustrate the protective role of the secondary lymphoid organs, direct your attention to these imposing sentinel towers, our stand-ins for the almighty lymph nodes. Lymph nodes are where lymph is filtered, and, like other secondary lymphoid organs, where B and T cells are activated and mature. You see how there's that pathway of lymph flowing through the lymph node represented by this soldier entering the tower through a large yellow gate and exiting through the yellow slide. Those yellow structures both symbolize lymphatic vessels. That seems pretty straightforward. But see how there's another soldier squeezing through the redstone gap high near the top of the tower? This represents another way that lymphocytes enter lymph nodes and other secondary lymphoid organs from the blood. He's going through a specialized passageway called a high endothelial venule. See how it's high up there? Just like this guy, B and T cells really do kind of squeeze their way in through gaps in the blood vessels. So lymph nodes have two points of entry, lymph vessels and high endothelial venules, but only one exit, through lymphatic vessels. Once you've squeezed in, you don't really want to have to squeeze out again. <laughs> 